I never set out with this idea to become a Buddhist, and I especially didn't come set out with an idea to become a Buddhist teacher because you have to wear these silly clothes, and I don't really like wearing, you know, apologies to, <laughs> to those of you who are wearing these clothes. I'm not very fond of them. Uh, they're they're hot and they're awkward. One of the hardest things. If you, if you do the Zazen practice to, to understand or to accept, and this is, this is even now, after doing it for as long as I have, often hard for me to accept, is that there is no goal to it. There's just no goal. So this is the, it's, it is supposed to be a representation of the clothes that Buddha wore and represent the simplicity of uh, Buddha and his teachings. Like you'll notice that people wearing this stuff will be standing like this. And that's not because they're tight asses, it's because if you don't stand like this, the whole thing falls apart and, 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 and just, you know, it looks lousy. Um, when you wear it, you're supposed to put it on your head which looks silly, and then do this chant. And the English version of that that's usually chanted in the U.S. is something like, We pledge our souls to Satan. Satan is our guide and our teacher. <laughs> Great robe of liberation, a field beyond form and emptiness, wearing the Buddha's teachings, we free people who, who do zazen for a long time and go, well, that guy got angry. And then he should not get angry, he's, he's been doing zazen for years. But you don't know what that person would be like if they didn't do zazen. And, and as far as like anger is concerned, for, anger for me is like not that I never become angry, but that I hold on to it a lot less. So when I can <laughs> I'm glad you like this. Uh, <laughs> when I, when I, I'm just going to speak to you. <laughs> you know, when I do become angry, I, I tend not to grab it and hold it and, and, and play with it and, you know, make it a, a part of my personality. I sort of get angry and then, and then usually can move on. And sometimes it's harder to move on than other times, depending on what the source of the anger is and, and the circumstances and so on. But it doesn't become this this uh, this hard uh, thing usually. No, but I, I feel a little less silly wearing this, but I still feel like a, an employee of McDonald's or something. You know, it's like a because it is a kind of a name tag. So I've had these discussions with Nishijima Roshi, and and for some reason he still uh, is interested in having me be the head of his organization, even though I'm I just don't like wearing this. Generally, it'll have a, the verse, which is the verse that you chant when you're putting it on, and then it has the day that I took, uh, that I did my jukai ceremony, and then it has uh, Nishijima's signature here, and then it has my fake Buddhist name here, which is Odo Ben A. Do you use it ever? No, I I don't. Uh, it means a way of way of responsiveness, a responding way, and as a, Odo is response and way, and Ben A is a hero of study. I don't know why hero of study, I think it was the only thing he could come up with that had a B in it. Real compassion is just, is just moment by moment action. It's doing, and it also includes selfish, supposedly selfish action like doing zazen practice, because that helps make you more stable so that when you go out and act in the world, you can do that action with, with a clear mind and a clear, we say body and mind are the same, so a clear mind and a clear body. Thanks. Uh, thank you for coming to the to see the film, and I hope you enjoy it. It's uh, it's a film about a segment of the punk rock scene that really nobody probably would even think was worth 
documenting, which was the punk rock scene in, in Cleveland and Akron, Ohio. Very small, nobody within.